Welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. It's crawfish season, y'all. Let me show y'all how I bullet sack a crawfish. Step one is to clean these crawfish. They don't call them mud bugs for nothing. They come out of these bayous, out of these river systems. They got a lot of mud on them. You want to get that off before you cook them or your boil's going to taste bad. Now, the way this washer works is we're forcing clean water in, circulating, and we're taking the dirty water out. The crawfish are going around in circles, getting happy. So I've got 35 pounds of good, clean Louisiana crawfish here. We're gonna get the bowl ready and drop these dudes in. To cook crawfish, you need a big pot. I've got an 80 quart here. It's perfect for one sack or up to about 40 pounds of crawfish. I filled it up just a little over halfway with good clean water. I got the fire lit under it real low. Now we're gonna start adding our flavor. First thing going in is our king crawl bowl. You could use any kind of crab or crawfish bowl you want. Put the whole bag in. We like our crawfish to have some flavor. There ain't no seasoning at the end here. We do it at the beginning. We're gonna add one stick of butter. It's gonna give us some richness. It's gonna help them tails really peel nice. Then you need about two cups of white vinegar. Now we're gonna crank that fire up. Bring it to a boil. All right, once that steam starts coming out, we got a rolling boil. That's what you wanna see. We'll stir it up, make sure we got it all dissolved. We're ready to start cooking now. I got a bunch of lemons halved here. We're gonna squeeze that juice and drop them in. Now we're ready for the onions and the garlic. Now I've got some of these big green onions. I like to eat these, they're sweet. They soak up a lot of flavor. Then you got to have some whole garlic cloves. And I also got a can of pickled jalapenos, juice and all to spice this boil up. And then finally, we're gonna throw in our potatoes. Now all of this needs a head start. So we're gonna bring it back to a boil and let it go about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're gonna add the mushrooms and the sausage to the pot. We're gonna let this boil for about five minutes. It'll be time to add the crawfish. Let's put the lid back on. It's time to put the mud bugs in the water. We're gonna add them to our pot. We're gonna stir it a little bit. Now we gotta put the lid back on, bring it to a rolling boil, and we're gonna time it three minutes and shut it down. All right, after those crawfish have boiled for three minutes, we're gonna add our corn. Now you need to soak these crawfish for at least 20 minutes for a mild flavor. 30 minutes, they're gonna pick up a little more spice, but they're perfect at 45. That's what I'm going for today. But the longer you soak them, the more flavor these crawfish are gonna have. Now you just wanna paddle them around a little bit. Bring the ones from the bottom up. It's gonna help cool that pot, but these will sink as soon as they start soaking up all this good juice. All right, it's been 45 minutes. We're gonna pull these crawfish up, ease them back down in there, Mikey. Let them sit there on the edge and let it drain really good. Now these dudes have been soaking. They all sunk down to the bottom. That's what I want to see. Let's see how much juice is in one of these heads. Ooh, y'all think it's juicy? Mmm, tailed out perfect. Mmm. Now we're gonna pour these crawfish in a clean cooler and don't ever sprinkle them with seasoning now. That's a no, man. We're getting all that flavor on the inside. You don't have to put that hot stuff on the outside to burn people's lips. That's one cooler load, one sack. Shut it down and just let it hang out a few All minutes. All right, y'all, let's see how we did. Let's pull one of these big crawfish out. See if we got some juice in that head. Ooh, yeah. Peel that first little piece off. Pinch the bottom. That tail will pop right out clean every time. Hmm. I'm finna get down on about 10 pounds. Hmm. 